All right, so here's the finished product of the rain barrel. Go back through all the all the parts here. So at the top here, had to divert it from a 90 degree that was going that way. I just installed this flexible piece here to come down here. Then installed another one. Go into the barrel. Have this two by three conversion into round here. Then underneath here. Have it hooked up to an atrium grate, three inch. Then I just put a panty hose inside. It catches all the debris, leaves, and bugs that you don't want in your barrel. <clears throat> Mosquitoes. And for the nozzle, two half inch uh, male male threaded ends going here. I did get a shadow. I did get some leaking on this side, so I just put some, I had some silicone caulking that I added around it, and that seemed to stop it. <clears throat> and we had some rain last night, so the overflow was tested and it worked out great. So I just, I think it's an inch and a half um, elbow that I put on here. It's just discharge hose, put a zip tie on it, and it was rolled up. And it's sitting right here, rolled up. So when it got full, it just unrolled by itself. And uh, this is how it looked this morning when I came out. So that worked. So our tank's nice and full. Good pressure. So I built this two by four stand for it to elevate it so I can get more pressure plus you know so I don't hit with the weed whacker and more more. This is all scrap two by four that I got from local construction dump site, so that was all free. Alright, there it is. Things are working out fine. <clears throat>